Given my deep love of Debbie Reynolds, I knew there would be aspects of Say One for me that I liked. And certainly there were bits of it that I really enjoyed. But having watched the film, I'm not sure if I think it was a good film or a really average film. Certainly, I didn't dislike it, but maybe I didn't like it as much as I'd hoped. This was released in 1959, directed by Frank Tashlin, written by Robert O'Brien, and alongside the brilliant Debbie Reynolds, we also have the fantastic Bing Crosby, and uh, we also have Robert Wagner, uh, or Wagner, as Tony Vincent, who is a pretty brilliant character, I have to say. And I did really like all of the characters in this. Everybody you know, seem to be well-rounded, I believe their motivations. I feel like I should have liked the narrative more than I did, but I didn't really buy into it as much as I'd hoped. This is about, um, well, Holly, played by Debbie Reynolds, who goes to work as a showgirl to raise money, or to earn money, because her father is unwell, but she definitely has people in her life who doesn't want her to be doing that, and whether or not she's going to be performing at this dance club or if she will have to stop doing it and find another way to earn money only time will tell there's also another problem for her because um tony who runs this dance club is certainly a very interesting individual who i won't say he forces himself on her it's not quite like that but he's very presumptuous he assumes that she is going to want to sleep with him and he basically will not leave her alone. And I have to say, I really like the way Holly responded to that. I thought she responded very well. And as a character, I really liked her. Um, sometimes I thought she was maybe a little bit flat as a character. I didn't think her motivations were always that interesting. But largely, once I got to know her, um, I, I liked her. I will say, I don't like the makeup for this character. I just... She wears kind of very orangey tones, and I just don't think it suits her very well at all. Um, I know that's a really minor quibble, but usually I don't notice the makeup. You know, I'm, unless it's you know a film where makeup is, is relied on heavily for special effects and things. Um, usually I won't notice the makeup that a character is wearing, but it really stood out to me and not in a good way. The costumes were pretty good. I really liked the costumes, particularly the costumes they wore during routines. Deb Reynolds gave a, a fabulous performance um, vocally and in terms of choreography. So it was not a bad film. Um, certainly Bing Crosby was very good as well, as was Robert Wagner. Not a bad film. There was nothing about it that stood out to me as being particularly terrible, although, as I said, maybe, <laughs> maybe Holly's makeup, which is a weird thing for me to notice. But generally, it was okay. I'd recommend it if there's something about it that you want to watch. If you're a fan of one of the actors, or if you're, you know, particularly a fan of a musical. It is a musical, but the musical numbers are few and far between, and they're not that great. That's not to say they're not well choreographed, or that they are, you know, not well sung, because they are. I just find them pretty unmemorable for the most part. And the titular song wasn't really bothered. Didn't really bother, but didn't didn't really bother me at all. So it definitely isn't the film I was expecting, or what I was hoping for. As one of the last few Debbie Reynolds films I have to see, I'm glad it's not the last one. I didn't mind say one for me, but it definitely didn't live up to my expectations. <laughs>